guy, the Lone Swordsman, and welcome to another video. Today, we are gonna be doing the third part of the How To Splatoon 2 series. So on the last episode, I asked what type of weapon you want me to do. And Snowcone Gamer said he wanted me to do, or she, I, I'm not sure. He, wanted, he or she wanted me to do the Jet Squelter. And I was like, all right, kinda. The Jet Squelters are a version of a class. So today we're gonna be looking at their overall class and that is the shooters. There were a lot of shooters because there's technically the basic version of every single weapon in the game. So there's a lot of them. So we're gonna split this shooter episode into two episodes. We have shooters part one, which is today, and shooters part two, which will be next one, two, Splatoon two episode. So, the first weapon we'll be looking at, let's reset, is the basic Splattershot Junior. Its subcategories are the Custom Splattershot Junior and the Kenzo Splattershot Junior. And this is the weapon you get when you start the game. You aren't able to get any other weapons until you hit level two, or it might be three, but I don't know. Anyhow, its range isn't great, its damage isn't great, but its fire rate is actually better than other versions, so it's not so junior after all. It's just, it doesn't have any quirks, it's the basic weapon, and it looks a lot like a basic water gun. It's kinda sad, but. Yeah, so if we look at its range. Uh, one, two, three. Let's just start with three. Yeah, we can't hit from three. Two and a half? No, two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter, so two and a quarter, okay. We also have damage, which we're gonna, I'm just gonna tap and see how many, so tap, 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 okay. How does, tap, 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 okay, tap. So four taps, so four damage. All right, and as for the next one, we have fire rate. Um, well, you get the general idea. Uh, fire rate is kind of like a lot of the other stats, like charge speed. It's got to do with how fast, and you can't really time that with fire rate, so yeah. So, overall, I'm going to have to give it a very solid... Well, it, it's not really that solid. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it the, okay, uh, one and a half? It, it's not great. It, I definitely will not use it, but... If, if, when you're, it, it's the weapon you get at the, when you start the game for a reason. It's not good. So just, it, it's fun to start with, and it has its like, it has its options, but if it's got the ink, if it's got ink armor, it's probably not a great weapon. And if you get it first, it's definitely not a great weapon. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna be looking at the one, the only, the basic splatter shot. Its subcategories are Tenta Tech splatter shot and Kenta splatter shot. And this is the basic weapon of Splatoon, and the poster board, the poster boy, I guess, of the Splatoon weapons. It's the Pikachu of Splatoon. Yeah. Its range is okay, its damage is okay, and its fire rate's okay. Let's look at the fire rate, I guess. So, it's, yeah, it's definitely a little bit worse than the main Slarsaw Jr., but its range, if we go from three, no, two and a half? Yeah, it's got, it's got two and three quarters? No. So yeah, its range isn't incredible, but yeah, you get what you get. Um, next for damage, uh, tap, tap, tap. Okay, three hits, yay. And overall, the rating I give for this weapon, because I already told you fire rate, is two and a half. You guys saw that coming from a mile away. Yep, all right. It's the basic version, so nothing special about it. So yeah, next up, in the shooters list, we have the one at least Snowcone Gamer's been waiting for. Jet Squelter! Woo! It's similar subcategories with the custom Jet Squelter, and I, I think I think that's it. Yeah. Its range is fantastic. It's prob it's probably has the highest range of any shooter. Well, yeah, highest range of any shooter. Its damage is pretty good, not really, and fire rate isn't great, but. Well, let's reset because we're kind of covered this entire place. If we look at range, let's just go to three. We can hit it. If we go to four, uh, no, three and a half. Yeah, 
yeah, three and a half, three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. That is definitely the main thing about the Jet Squelcher. And it's quite funny because, once again, it almost has more range than a stinking charger. So, hilarity. Uh, as for damage, we got one, two, three, four. Four damage. Woohoo. And fire rate is, once again, a little bit worse. It sounds like one of those foam ball shooter things. It actually really does, and with the orange ink coming out, it actually looks like one too, which is funny. But pu -pu 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 it really sounds like one of those foam ball shooters. It's amazing how crazy that is, but. Overall, for the rating of this Jet Squelcher, I give it a three and a half. It's, it's very good. Its range is just incredible, and well, it's, it's just a good weapon overall, and I can see why Snowcom Gamer wanted to see it. It's just, it's just really good. And next we have the sploosh o -matic. Uh, its range is, it's bad. It's really bad. Its damage is pretty good, and its fire rate is top of the mark. It's also got Neo Sploosh and Sploosh 7. On the channel, I should probably stay. I refer to this thing as the sploosh, not the sploosh o -matic. And because I don't like saying sploosh o -matic for some reason, it just drives me nuts. It's the sploosh, all right? So the sploosh, its range, uh, two. It can't hit from two, can it hit from one? Better. Can it hit from one and a half? Yes, can it hit from one and three quarters? Nope, yep, that's why the sploosh kind of sucks. And we also have damage though, uh, one, that was, that was technically three. Uh, we'll just say that was three. And, uh, fire rate's pretty good. So overall, the rating I give for this weapon is two. I give it two stars. It's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. It's just not awesome. I keep forgetting that this weapon has a curling bomb. It just does not make sense to me why, but oh well. And lastly, for this part of the shooters, we have the Splash! splash o -matic. It's called the Splash. It's got Neo Splash, and that's kind of it. Yeah. That's it. It's range is meh, nah, damage is meh, nah, and fire rate's pretty good. So we look at range, go from three, you can't hit it from three, two and a half. Two and a half quarter, there we go. And damage, one, two, three, four. Four hits, but sweet macaroni, that fire rate. Oh my goodness. It sounds like a pop, 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 but sped up to times five, it's nuts. It's like putting one of those foam ball things up to machine gun speed. Wow, I, I, I want to see someone make that. That'd be hilarious. And yeah, I'm surprised at how fast it went for looking over the weapons. They don't have a lot to talk about, frankly. Uh, because none of the shooters have booming qualities. Like, the chargers, they all had some sort of twist. Like, the Goom Tuber, it had a oh, nice, long charge. Charge, not charge. Charge, a uh, score time. And, you know, squatter scope had a scope. So they all, most of the weapons have a special gimmick, except for the shooters. So it, it comes down to their stats when it comes to them being different. So this actually didn't take long, but this rating I give the splash in its sub categories is four stars, baby. Out of the first group of shooters, because there's another shoot in part two, and there's a shooter that I definitely think is better than this and it's my shooter main. Um, this weapon is easily the best out of the top, the main five we're doing today. It's just, it's, fire rate is incredible and it's rain is not that bad. And well, it's, it's known for being one of the hardest to beat shooters, but we're gonna find a better one next time. Anyhow, with that, uh, overall, the splash I'll be picking is the splash o -matic or the neo splash o -matic. Now, if we look at its subs and no, it's rift, I don't want to deal with you today. Sub, burst bomb, special, suction bomb launcher, normal splash, toxic mist and inkjet. Neo splash, and I don't even have it yet, so I'm gonna have to buy that. So, uh, I believe that the ranked mode of the day, I just remembered 
I can't check it in here. I think it's Splat Zones again, which is stupid, but it helps me get better at Splat Zones, and I need to get better at Splat Zones. So with that, let's jump into the next apart. Alrighty then, here we are, and I was right, Splat Zones is the mode and yeah, Splat Zones. <sighs> okay, tier four maps are Walleye Warehouse and Snapper Canal, and Splat Zones maps are The Reef and Humpback Pump Tracks. Now let's get into the first tier four match. I'm hoping for Walleye Warehouse because I love Walleye Warehouse. I love short quarters maps. Port Mackerel is awesome. Walleye Warehouse is awesome. Wait, what's my favorite map? I, um, I'm gonna think about what my favorite map is because I know I have a favorite map and I know I won't shut up about it, but it's clearly not the best if I can't think of what it's called. All right, let's let's splash them Neo-like. All right, let's do this with the splash. Not the splash matic it's the splash. Dang it, Snapper Canal is fine. I, mm. Suction Bomb Launcher and Burst Bombs obviously are the best sub. Everybody knows that. Oh, oh, 4v3! That means no kills, that's sad. We're not gonna get lots of kills. Well, I better get, go get the jump on it then. Get down here, stupid splasher. I'm gonna, yep, not gonna get cocky. Crap, okay. Figure out where the little little children are hiding. All right, let's, get, let's find out where the little children are hiding. Okay, I thought I still had suction bomb launcher on. Um, okay, let's let's get some bombers over here. Uh, oh, stupid roller! He's not even a roller, but he's rolling too much. He's dodge rolling too much. Uh, Kim's bully. Cool. Oh, God. Splash City is... Oh, he's just... He, he's got him dead. No, he's not. All right. He's smart. He's dead now, huh? Wait for it. Ha! Dude, stop rolling! Okay, I'm getting cocky. I apparently suck with this flash. <laughs> I've never really used it. Oh, they have a sploosh disconnected and they're using, oh, no! Gosh, rollers are, just... finally, okay. Bro, that's like the first time in a while that I've actually been helped out by the Tenta Missile echo locator kind of thing. Because let's be honest, the echo locator, echo locator sucks, and the Tenta Missiles don't need the echo locator bonus to still actually be viable. Stupid! Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. Someone knows how to do the use the duelies too well. I I used to call myself a dually main, but after seeing this person, I just don't feel strong enough to call myself a dually main. Ah, crap! Okay. Hey, Brush City, Brush Brush City. Come on! Man, I suck with the shooters, apparently. Maybe if I can get my aiming ready. We might actually, oh crap, we're gonna lose. We might actually lose. I need to stop goofing around. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not about to lose to a team with a freaking disconnector. No, 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 no. Oh, we won. That got me scared. I was, are you kidding me? Oh, no. No, 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 I did not just lose to a, don't look at me. Don't look at me. You don't deserve, you don't deserve to watch this person who lost to a freaking disconnector. I got cocky, I got cocky, I got cocky. Crap dang, let's go win ranked battle. Let's go win splat zones. Don't 
Someone give me the reef, because that map sucks. A lot. Give me humpback thumb track. I'm used to that. That map has a really fun splat zones. Game. I, I like where the zone is. Please, th the reef had better not be the map. Don't be the map. Don't be the... Yay! All right. Let's splash. And lose because, oh my god, I'm horrible at squad zones. I'm just, I'm, I am a rush main through and through. I am very much a freaking rush main. Kill them. Kill them. Right, sweeping out. Okay. Man, we got an assist. I'm fine with that. It's we didn't really do anything there. That's the side part. Oh, crap! Ugh. Stupid slusher machine. It's the washing machine. It's the washing machine. It's going to hunt you down and it's going to kill you. There we go. That's, that's more like my, that's more like it. My goodness! That splashdown freaking came out of nowhere! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped down, I shouldn't have jumped down, I'm a target, I'm a target! Get up! Uh, yeah, that's cool. Well, if we lose this, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, cause it'll make me look like I don't know how to use a stinking shooter. But I, I kinda do. Okay, brushes are definitely my favorite weapon. Mm. Stupid arrow spray! Come on, I don't, don't let me lose. Don't, stupid game. We got into full on charge. We just gotta get into the zone. Let's go! Take it, take the zone! Let's go! Ha! That's a lot 
lot of corpses. Okay, I don't even know. Die, please. We, we lost because we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time to take the zone. Well, we can take the zone, but we can't take it. We can't win. We got it. We just finished. Uh, ah, crap. That's a shame. We still got 16 kills. More than they got. Well, not totaled up, but. Oh, come on! What the heck even was that? <sighs> well. Uh, I guess that's the end of the episode. I hate splat zones. I honestly hate splat zones. It's my least favorite mode, and it doesn't make it any better that I'm horrible at it. Can we just get something other than splat zones in this in this stinking series, please? All right. So if you ended up enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and tell me down in the comments below what weapon class I should do after the second part of the shooters. And I guess yada, 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 and I will see a you later.